Hi, Cancer. I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading for you, and we'll find out what messages spirits have for you. I'm just going to shuffle two more times. Okay, Cancer, let's find out what's going on in your energy. What does Cancer need to know? There you are, Cancer, the King of Cups, male or female. This is the King of Love. This is you staying in control of your emotions. There's no gender in tarot, so I'm just reading the energy here, Cancer. We have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm seeing you here being single, taking care of your money, taking care of everything that you need to take care of. You're staying in control of your emotions here. I feel like you're working on your money, Cancer. I'm seeing success and victory, something to do with your money. Now we have the King of Pentacles. So you could be opening up your own business. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, the stars here. So you've been through a lot of pain in the past, and I'm seeing healing taking place with the star. I'm seeing that you've been through the tower. You've been through a lot of pain. And there's something here that you're wishing for. There's a wish fulfillment. Ace of Cups. We're going to go back and clarify the cards, but this is Blessings. You're being blessed. What's happening with cancer? Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords now. So I'm seeing a message coming in. Let me make sure you can see the cards. Let's see how much further I can pull these up. Okay. There's going to be a message here, which we're going to clarify. This could be coming from an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Doesn't have to be, though. This could be any sign. This is someone from your past, the Six of Cups. And then we have the Seven of Wands. So this is an energy of feeling defensive, guarded. Okay, so let's clarify your cards now. Yeah, I'm just really getting an energy here of you. I feel like you were dealing with someone who caused a lot of arguments. And this is someone that shows up as the Seven of Swords. So this is lying, cheating, or stealing. Someone being sneaky, trying to get away with something. A lot of conflict with other people. But you've gotten through all of this, Cancer, is what I'm seeing. And you're manifesting something huge here that you're working on. Very focused on your money. There, It may not be money, but there's something that you're focused on here. And I really feel like it's your money. It's your pinnacles. So let's clarify and find out what's going on. Because you are showing up as the very first card in your reading here. The King of Cups. I'm just going to shuffle two more times. I see the King of Cups showing up here again. So I feel like you do have a lot of love for someone and there was a lot of heartbreak here. But I'm seeing that you turned this heartbreak into something good, into a wish fulfillment. Okay, so see, we still have you sitting here on the bottom of the deck, King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? You could be dealing with another 
I mean with a Pisces, another Cancer, or a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, though. Yeah, see, you're manifesting in the energy of manifesting. Six of Wands again. This is success. This is victory. Wow. Four of Wands. I feel like there's new love coming into your life. You could be dealing with a Gemini here. But there's sadness over there's sadness over a connection with someone here. And it could have been a choice, a choice of yours to end something. But you turned this this energy, you're turning it into something beautiful. Manifesting. And whatever you're manifesting, there's victory, success. You could be doing something where you're being recognized by a lot of people. This is you crossing over the finish line. The Four of Wands is here, so this is a huge celebration. Um, there could be a marriage for someone, going to a wedding, buying a new home. This is, a, is also 11-11, you're on the right path. There's two wands here, two wands here, 11, 11, you're on the right path. Keep going. Okay, and then we have the nine of pentacles, which this is you being single, and I feel like you're happy in your own skin. You're building something here is where your focus is. Yeah, I feel like... Um, There's a new job. There's something about you taking control. So someone could be moving up in a company or something. This is a boss. This is building a stable foundation. So I'm seeing you here. It's like you could be spending a lot of time alone right now. The hermit is here. So I'm seeing you in hermit energy going deep within and following a wish fulfillment. The star is inside of your lantern here, and the star is falling right underneath this energy. And this again, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that could be coming into with some type of a gift or something but and this could be someone that you have little to no communication with cancer but what i'm also seeing here when i look at the king of pentacles and the page of pentacles is i'm seeing you starting something new and this literally could be opening up your own business something that brings stability into your life and i'm seeing it being very very successful victory you've been through a lot of heartbreak a lot of pain you've been through a tower even though the tower is not showing up here the star is here so you don't get um you don't make it to this star without going through the t the tower which is a very painful situation and you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here I'm seeing you very focused on you. Why is the Six of Wands here? This this can be public recognition. There's people here cheering you on. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You're being patient too. I feel like you could be getting messages from someone who's at a distance from you. The world is here. There's a cycle that's been completed, completely closed out. You're being very patient, Cancer. You're trying to do something just right. 
and you're not taking no for an answer. The King of Wands is someone who goes after what they want very patiently and not taking no for an answer. I feel like you have a plan here. But there is this energy here of feeling defensive, kind of defensive. Like everything may not be perfect, but you're working on it. In the Seven of Wands, you can see you're wearing two different shoes. So it's like you're ready to get this job done, whatever this job is. You're not backing down from any fights here. You're standing your ground. And then we have the King of Pentacles again right here. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Wow, I love your reading, Cancer. For somebody, there's a legal matter that's going to be going in your favor. I'm seeing this opening up a lot of new doors for you too. But I'm also seeing you making a decision to go after a huge gift or some type of opportunity that is being pretend um that is being handed to you here this is like the hand of god coming down out of the clouds offering you this new start this new beginning and you're making a decision you're taking this and i i'm really feeling like this is a new business or something for someone that brings you a lot of happiness with the Ten of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment. This is something you've been wishing for. But you, I feel like you have to be vulnerable in a way. You have to allow vulnerability here. Okay, so there's someone here coming into your life. This could be a Leo or a Pisces. Um, the sun is at the bottom of the deck, so we have really powerful energy here of happiness coming into your life. Um, the star and the sun. There's a judgment here. This has to do with something being risen from the dead. And this could have to do with someone that you're connecting with, with the Two of Cups. Someone that you feel very close and connected to. There's a lot of confusion here. A lot of confusion when it comes to this person. Like there's things that are hidden that you're not seeing that I'm seeing being illuminated for you. A judgment call being made. So the sun is coming in to illuminate the confusion so that you can see clearly. And the next card we have right here, I really feel like this is someone from your past showing up, offering you this new beginning in love. We have the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Could be a blended family. Okay, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, someone that could have been gone for quite a while. Karma is getting this person. They're coming back around again. But I feel like this is long overdue. They were very, very slow. But they're coming back with a plan. They still have hope. This person hasn't given up hope. This is... Um, this is a connection with someone that you were married to or sharing a home with, I feel like, or have children with. There's a legacy here, something that is supposed to last forever. That I feel like this person or you walked away from. You can put this energy where it belongs.
but I feel like it's your person. I feel like they're coming, they're coming back around to you. I'm seeing a tower moment. This person's having a tower moment in their life. Something, something has completely fallen apart in this person's life. Hold on. This connection could have ended all of a sudden. That may be why we have a tower here. Maybe this connection ended. Why is the tower here? Yeah, a new beginning. I feel like you're not expecting this. be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn but um, somebody here is reconsidering with the Queen of Pentacles they're up in their head they keep thinking about you this is the nightmare card this person's experiencing karma it's like a it's like a huge awakening here this person's realizing how they treated you because the five of swords is someone who's very cold, someone in their ego. They don't care who they hurt. They just want to win. This person is rushing towards you right here with a message. Why is the knight of swords here? The fool. This person was literally foolish. The Empress, the Ace of Swords, could be dealing with a Taurus. This person wants to reconcile with you, Cancer. They're going to take a leap of faith, which is Aries energy, so you could be dealing with an Aries. I feel like there could be something to do with the baby here. We have the Empress and the Sun. Whatever this person's rushing forward here to tell you, they're they're rushing here to tell you something. It's um it's a very short message. Could have something to do with a child. But whatever this is, this person is speaking to you the truth. They will bring clarity out of the confusion. But you're in the energy where you are working on you. And this is incredible growth in your life. It's a new beginning for you. Something here is a new beginning for you that you've been working on. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Six of Cups talks about the past. Why is the Six of Cups here? Yeah, see the new beginning in love. This is an ex coming back. Wanting this new beginning in love with you. Why is the Six of Cups here? They did something sneaky, though. I'm not worried about you. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio here. I'm not worried about you, though, because your intuition is very strong. You're showing up as the high priestess, male or female. And this person's sneaky, lying, cheating ways are not are not going unnoticed. I feel like you're keeping it to yourself. You're not saying anything, but you know. But this big Ace of Cups is what they're coming to offer you. And so I'm seeing you defensive here. Because whatever this person's trying to hide, you already know.
Yeah, you're turning. I'm seeing you turning your back on the past and looking out into your future. There's ghosting here. This person is ghosting. They are feeling sadness. They're feeling regret. They refused your cup of love in the past. And um, this, this is someone who still has hope after everything they've done here. This person betrayed you, lied to you. And more, I feel like I don't, I'm not getting a good energy from this person. But karma is here. Some people don't want karma and they'll leave me messages saying, I don't wish this person to go through anything, but it's not any of our choices. It's, it's what it is. Whatever this person's doing, it's coming back around on them. I'm seeing you guarded up and de defending yourself from this person. And I feel like... I feel like you're ending this. Let me see why death is showing up here. Why is death here? This is someone who's coming back wanting to reconcile. Why is death here? Could be dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. There's a third party here. I feel like you have a, you definitely have a lot of love for this person, Cancer. It's someone that you have a lot of love for, but this person is stuck in some type of situation in their life. Or you are that you're not willing to you're not willing to let go of. Someone. Hold on. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Yeah, there's something. Yeah, there's a third party some type of a commitment and it could have something to do with the baby this is this is a third party but this person's coming back to you wanting a reconciliation here Let me just see one more thing. Why is the Three of Cups here? Yeah, it's a third party situation. Somebody was giving to two people. Could it be an, could be an ex involved here? Okay, so let's see what this person wants to say to you, Cancer. Let me just pick up these cards and we'll find out what the message is from your person. Okay. I'm just going to give these a shuffle. you're dealing with a Pisces I am 
becoming a better person. If you're dealing with another cancer, or this could simply be your energy showing up here. We have, I hope you're happy for me. Scorpio. I know we have a soul connection. Aries. Aries says, I know I messed everything up. Leo, I couldn't let you get too close to me. Sagittarius, I don't know what to say. Aquarius, you speak to me through music. Libra, I never want to feel that way again. Gemini, I fear that you will reject me, Taurus, I am afraid to contact you, Virgo, just being near you is intoxicating, Capricorn, My life is not as together as it seems, as Capricorn. And for everyone on the bottom of the deck, I focused on you instead of my pain. Okay, and then let me just get you your numerology cards for advice, Cancer. I'm just going to shuffle these one time. Cancer need to know. Luck is on your side. Don't let your past hold you back. And a personal issue reaches a resolution. And on the bottom of the deck, be bold and make the first move. Okay, Cancer, so these are the messages spirits have for you. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I send you lots of love and light, Cancer. Namaste.